Hello friends, in this lesson we shall have discussion about trade receivables e-discounting system. In short we call it a trends. First of all, what is a trade receivable? Friends, trade receivable is the amount receivable by seller for sale of goods on credit on due date. जब भी कोई seller of goods अपने goods को on credit बेचता है, तो उसे payment मिलता है on due date. And that amount which is to be received by the seller, so that is called trade receivable. And the trades is a system to facilitate provision for finance against invoices. So those invoices which are generated through the credit sale, उन invoices को finance करने को facilitate करने के system को हम trades कहते हैं. Now trades provides a standardized process for onboarding of buyers and sellers transactions. Sellers और buyers जितनी भी transactions करते हैं sale purchase of goods on credit की तो trades एक standardized process प्रोवाइड करता है जिससे sellers and buyer के बीच में हुई transactions को trades system के उपर upload कर दिया जाता है Let us now understand the mechanism of trades So here we have graph relating to trades यहां पे हमारे पास different sellers हैं और यहां पे हमारे पास उनके buyers हैं और यहां पे हमारे पास financiers हैं and in between have we have the trades system so here we have the trades operator so this provides e-discounting of these receivables so let us understand this mechanism how this functions seller delivers goods on credit issues invoice and uploads it on trades ये जो issue invoice किया जाएगा और इसको upload किया जाएगा on trades system इसको हम कहेंगे factoring units for example seller number one delivers goods to buyer number one और buyer number two and thereafter वो invoice issue करेगा एक bill issue करेगा and उसकी details को upload कर देगा on trades so this is called a factoring unit this invoice is known as factoring unit buyer on the other side so this may be this buyer it may be this buyer so buyer normally a corporate hai ya public sector undertaking hai they will log in the system and they will give acceptance to this factoring unit ke unhone factoring unit ko accept kar liya hai for payment so once this acceptance is given then what happens the trades system it generates information about this acceptance and send this information to buyer's bank and buyer's bank account it is linked to factoring unit and also to trades legally this factoring unit it is similar to a physical instrument under negotiable instrument act or factoring regulation act 2011 this means kal ko agar buyer uska payment nahi karta there is a legal remedy available in the system because it has a legal sanctity uh, under negotiable instrument act or under factoring regulation act now fu financing jo factoring units hai iska financing kaise hoga now these financiers who are registered at trades they will quote their rates that they are ready to purchase they are ready to provide finance against this factoring unit and these financiers can quote only when they are registered with the trades system and once they give this quote then seller can opt any bid given by any financer so seller ke paas option available hai that in me se kisi bhi financer ki jo bid hai usko seller accept kar sakta hai and that seller will provide finance to the seller so once this acceptance is given by seller that he is going to opt for a particular financer then immediately the factoring unit is tagged is marked as financed and once it is marked as financed then the funds are credited to seller's account on t plus two days basis this means seller ke account mein t plus two working days us basis ke upar in funds ko credit kar diya jayega to seller's account 
and on due date trades system will generate a message to the payment system and the payment system by debiting buyer's account will recover the payment and make a payment to the financer if there is a non payment then it will be treated as default by the buyer and if this default takes place there is a legal remedy to recover this amount like other physical instruments financer has no recourse against msme seller ye jo financer hai jisne ek bar inko paisa diya to ye paisa seller se wapas recover nahi ho sakta this mean the credit risk in this transaction once this is financed by a financer so the credit risk entirely transfers to the financer because it is on a non recourse basis that mean the amount cannot be recovered from seller once it is credited to seller's account and friends these factoring units these can be rated by trades and these can be transacted in the secondary market so trades system in ki rating karwa sakta hai rating ke baad uh, there can be a secondary market for factoring units also a uh, well friend this system particularly has been created uh, to help micro small and medium enterprises in india uh, it is just uh, similar to the factoring arrangement but it is extended version of factoring in case of factoring there is only one financer and uh, in case of uh, trades system this is not only electronic system uh, here number of financers is much more well friends i'm sure the contents of this video uh, will help you to under this concept aur agar aapko ye lesson acha laga please do not forget to uh, like the video and also agar abhi tak aapne hamare channel ko subscribe nahi kiya hai to please subscribe our channel thank you friends